I heard some anti-rheumatic, anti-inflammatory drugs also lower LP little a. Berberine also does this to a lesser degree. Does metformin affect LP little a levels? It's a great question. Most people haven't heard of LP little a. The medical community knew about it for years, but they said, we don't know how to fix it, so we're just not gonna look for it. And when we find it, we're not gonna tell patients because there's nothing you can do for it. Niacin helps. We know niacin lowers LP little a. And if you haven't heard of LP little a, look up Bob Harper, look up The Biggest Loser. Bob Harper was a 50 something year old trainer on The Biggest Loser show. And the poster boy for LP little a, he was doing a workout, I think it was Saturday or Sunday morning and had a heart attack doing his own workout and people go wait a minute he's in his 50s he's in great shape what the heck's going on well a week or so later he came out and said it's lp little a so lp little a hit the prime time and rob harper had his heart attack now that's a couple of years ago since then very interesting news has come up the medical community is beginning to warm up to this idea and look at it because they've got a high-tech very expensive drug now they're about ready to become available and it's going to be probably tens of thousands of dollars per year it's called the anti-sense drugs. Incredibly short version is anti-sense gets into RNA and DNA, mostly RNA. It's a drug which actually fits hand in glove with the proteins used to make LP little a. LP little a is basically an LDL, but it's got a thing called Kringle repeats on it. It's got a genetic variation. And some of us used to think that, well, those Kringle repeats caused a hook, which caused that inflammation. Others think, well, there's evidence coming out now that it tends to create a slightly different shape, making more soft type of plaque as opposed to other types of native LDL. Anyhow, bottom line is there's some big drugs that are becoming available, the anti drugs. They're coming out having a huge impact on LP little a. But we've ignored something called niacin. So we've known that niacin has an impact on LP little a for a very long time. Now then that takes me down several other bunny holes, which I'm not going to go into today. The AIM High study, the LPS to thrive. If you want to get information about that, it's the whole debate about niacin. Go back and Google some of my videos on the topic. We've got several.